So the United States has slowly recognized that energy storage plays a very important role in the current energy scenario. Energy is a topic that is becoming uh, very crucial. When you think about um, energy storage needs, they're just continuing to increase, regardless of the application. So lithium-ion batteries are the best battery technology we have ever had. But it's too expensive and actually does not have the capacity to really transform transportation and the electricity grid. You need the next generation. That next generation is very hard to produce. Batteries are very simple conceptually, but in reality, they're extremely complex chemical reactors. You need chemists, you need physicists, you need all sorts of engineering disciplines. You also need business people that tell you, well, is this gonna be viable from the techno-economic perspective? The Joint Center for Energy Storage Research, abbreviated JCSER, is led by Argonne National Laboratory, with strong programs in basic research, in condensed matter physics and materials, in chemistry, in nuclear physics, and in energy technology. We have an ambitious goal. We want to produce energy storage which performs five times better at one-fifth the cost. That is a daunting challenge. It's way beyond the capability of any university research group. It's beyond the capability of most companies. Even Argonne by itself would not be up to that task. You need a team. Jazz Controls is part of the Joint Center for Energy Storage and Research as the industrial partner to support this public-private collaboration to advance energy storage. We are working to advance energy storage that will not only make vehicles more fuel efficient, but it also looking at other energy storage applications. You see a lot of, of effort going into renewable energy generation through solar and wind. You need energy storage to capture that energy so it can be used when it's needed. It's a really important project in that it brings the brightest minds from our national labs and the finest universities along with industry who wants to commercialize those great ideas. What JCSER does differently is that it brings the scientists doing fundamental research, engineers that build these devices and companies together in one group. And we have the guidance from companies that have experience delivering products and can tell us very early on whether the concept makes sense or anticipate things that we're gonna uh, encounter. We really rely on our partners in the labs and in the universities to come up with those good ideas and get them to a point where we can take them, we can scale them, and we can commercialize them so that they can be adopted very broadly in the marketplace. If we can demonstrate success with this new paradigm for battery R&D, it can be a model not only for battery research of the future, but for all kinds of discovery and technology development going forward. The technology advancements that we're working on will impact everybody, not just in the United States, but globally. And we really need to be investing in these technologies and encouraging the national labs and the universities and industry to come together and collaborate on very important issues that can not only move our economy forward, but do it more sustainably and in ways that will continue to make us market leaders. Thank you.